Okay, hey YouTube, it's John with your next JavaScript tutorial. This is JavaScript tutorial number 12. And in this tutorial, we'll do, we're going to do the confirm box. We In the last tutorial, I talked about alert boxes, one of the three kind of boxes that you can do. Uh, the alert box was just like a little pop-up. So if you missed that, go to the video, uh, go to my videos and you should be able to see it. And today we're going to do confirm box. So what a confirm box does, it's really it's really used if you want the user of the uh, page to verify or accept something so when when it pops up the user will have to click either an OK button or a cancel button to proceed onto the page if the user uh, clicks OK the box will re the box returns true or it accepts that uh, and if the user clicks cancel the box returns false which means the page won't continue and it'll either close the page or oh, let's see or it'll probably just not load anything so let's go ahead and write an example confirm box so we're going to do confirm and then in parameters just write uh, hello do you accept Whoop. Okay, so, now, so it says, hello, do you accept? So we're going to save it and then run it in your browser. Either I run it in Firefox because Firefox is better to me, I think. And we get this we get this pop-up right here if you didn't see it. When the page loads, it, it shows the text, hello, do you accept? So, And then we either have to hit OK to continue with the loading of the page or we have to cancel it. If we cancel it, I'm going to show you, it does nothing. So let's go ahead and refresh. And if we click OK, it'll go ahead and continue loading the page. So we're just going to minimize the browser and go into, and we're going to do an example. So we're going to write out the HTML. So, and you know what, guys, I'll see you in a minute. So I can go ahead and write this out. Uh, then I'll give you a minute to, or you can pause the video after you see me write, written this entire thing out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and written it out. So what you need to do is put in your HTML tags. So go ahead and write it above the scripting tag and below the script and the, below the ending script tag, and write the header tag underneath the HTML and above the ending HTML, which I put right here underneath the script one. And go ahead and put the body tags. And in between the body tags, put input type equals. Well, yeah, you can go ahead and pause the video and uh, and put this. So this is what you need to have. So let me go over what this does. So what, we have a function that show that will pop up with the confirm box, and we have a variable called s, uh, which equals the confirm box. So the confirm the name of the confirm box is going to be press one of the buttons. So if whoop, I typed the wrong thing, so if variable s equals is equal to true document then it'll write you have accepted the page if it's not true then it's gonna write you did not want to visit the page come back soon so basically what this means is if we click OK it's gonna write you have accepted the page if we don't if we hit cancel it's gonna go ahead and write you didn't want to visit the page come back soon and right here uh, I'll explain that when it comes up comes up so let's go ahead and save it and pop up our Firefox if you had if you had closed it then you're gonna have to go to run and then launch in browser but uh, since I already have mine open I'm just gonna refresh and then we get a pop-up saying show confirm box now let me go over what the input type is input type is it's gonna show the button that we have here so let me uh, bring this up here so it want, we have an input so we have a type in the button which is this we made it into a button and then on click means when we click it we're gonna show the confirm box so it's gonna jump up here and show this confirm box that, we, that we've written and the value is gonna be show confirm box which we've written inside which that's where that goes so we're gonna click show confirm box Okay, I figured out what I did wrong, or uh, what I forgot to put in. 
uh, right here I forgot to add the little ending script tag for this right here I put that one in for this one and that one in for this one but I forgot to put that one in there so sorry guys for the little mix up and alright so go ahead and show confirm box click the button and now you'll get the pop up so it says show one of the buttons which we typed in earlier uh, so it will um, which is what the uh, variable s and then we had equals confirm so in the parameters we had press uh, press one of the buttons so that's what it wrote there and we're gonna click OK so when we click OK it should write you have entered access the page or accepted the page though so. yep you have accepted the page so since it was since we clicked OK and, and it proved it that it was true uh, we went ahead and accepted the page so so we have accepted the page and basically if the variable is true uh, then it's going to write that so let's go ahead and run another one in Firefox so it'll open up a new tab in Firefox and we're going to show confirm box and here's the box and we're going to hit cancel to show up so it said you did not want to visit the page come back soon so it did not find it true so we didn't hit OK uh, what basically the true means uh, OK in the OK button it has a true function and in the cancel it has a uh, cancel button cancel function so basically if the variable is true so it will write that but since we click cancel and made it false it said you didn't want to visit the page come back soon so that's a confirm box in my next tutorial I'm gonna go over the prompt box which is the final box and well, actually one of the most exciting and probably one of the hardest ones that we'll be using but uh, confirm box and alert box are pretty much similar except for the wording so if we wanted to do this for an alert box all we had to do is put alert right here and it wouldn't have the if else statement that we had in it so we basically combined two of our tutorials so we combined a show confirm uh, confirm box tutorial and an if else tutorial so you learned an if else after we learned it already but we got to use it again so you could refresh it in your mind so alright guys this has been uh, the JavaScript tutorial I hope to see you guys in my next tutorial where I'll do the prompt box so comment rate subscribe and have a fantastic day